lot of changes and uncertainty for thousands of General Motors employees in the U.S. and Canada as today is the final day the Chevy Cruze will come off the line in Lordstown, Ohio. This is just one of five plants GM announced would be closing. Two of those right here in Metro Detroit, the Detroit Hamtramck and Warren Assembly plants. Last month, General Motors announcing the Detroit Hamtramck plant won't close until next year. Jesse Schultz from our Cleveland sister station WEWS is live in Lordstown this morning. Jesse, I am a daughter of an automotive worker here in Detroit. I know this has to be an incredibly emotional morning. Yeah, it absolutely is an emotional morning. This Lordstown plant is the first of many U.S. plants to close. It's all part of GM's restructuring plan that they announced in November. And in the four months since that announcement, this town has fought tooth and nail to keep this plant open. There's about 1,400 workers inside the plant and about 400 of them have already taken other jobs with GM, but this plant is the heart of Lordstown, has been for more than 50 years. It's a huge blow for tax revenue, the town's spirit, and the families who have worked inside it for decades, making generations of GM workers. And even now, as the plant's timeline has dwindled down to just hours before that last Chevy Cruze rolls off the line, community members hope GM reconsiders. We keep fighting. We keep fighting. We're not giving up. We're not backing down until the administer the board, uh, the GM board, and Mary Barra make a decision to keep the GM plant here. There is a lot of uncertainty here in Lordstown. So many people wondering what is next, but what is clear and what is certain is that today is going to be an extremely emotional and tough day for everyone inside that plant. It's a family, definitely the generation of auto workers. I'm sure other businesses in Lordstown are scared of what will happen if folks have to move. We've seen a lot of political pushback from leaders who have met with GM CEO. Is there any sign GM's going to reconsider? Yeah, despite that pushback, GM insists that this is really just the best option for the company, so no signs that they will reconsider. Schultz from our Cleveland sister station live in Lordstown. I know it's going to be a tough day for those folks there. Thank you so much for joining us for that live report.